These turkeys are stinking it up in the basement. It's time to get them outside. All right, it's time to get these turkeys outside. They are stinking up my basement. And they want to get out. They want to go run free and have fun. They're sick of this little water trough that they've been stuck in. We're going to get them outside today. Look, they're already ready to get out. They're not messing around. changed ideas on what I was going to put them in to carry them outside. I figured I'd better have a cover on it because these guys love to jump out. Here at Lumna Acres, we want to make sure we're politically correct and we're going to have a trans poultry chicken tractor. I'm just kidding. I'm going to introduce these four turkeys with the ducks and other chickens. The reason why I'm doing that is they're not quite feathered out yet. It's been warm enough. Turkeys aren't always the smartest thing, so we're going to stick them in there with the ducks and the chickens. Hopefully they'll teach them a thing or two. And then once they're bigger and they're doing really well out here in the pasture by themselves, once they're doing really well out here with the pasture with the other birds, we're going to go ahead and put them in the, we'll call it, the turkey tractor. Yes. Guys, you're getting a new friend. Boy, those turkeys made a mess from just being in there for two minutes. So this barred rock chick right here likes to act as the mama hen. So let's see how she takes the new turkeys. So now this way all the ducks and chickens can teach the turkeys how to use the water nipplers and I don't have to worry about them. They'll be good. I'll teach them how to eat the grain from that feeder. It's a little bit different than they had. And I'll be showing them how to eat grass. And one of the real important things is I'll be showing them how to walk forward when I'm moving the chicken tractor. I know a lot of people like to say you should move the chickens or new poultry in at night. I usually do it during the day, that way I can keep an eye on them, and so far I haven't had any issues. I always have my flocks outside and either just running free in a big run or a tractor. And if they have plenty of space, they don't end up picking on the other chickens or turkeys or ducks very much. They fit right in, they're out in, they're out in the green pasture eating the grass, having fun. Mama head might be a little cranky, but she'll get over it and she'll learn to love them just like she loves the ducks. That's right guys, I forgot to tell you their names. So let's go take a walk back over there and I'll 
give you the names. So we have Christmas, Thanksgiving, Backup one and backup two. You know, they say turkeys are hard to raise and you usually have 50% loss. So I wanted to make sure we had a Christmas dinner and a Thanksgiving dinner. So if that sounds harsh, I'm sorry. I mean, we got Christmas, we got Thanksgiving, Christmas, backup one, backup two. Just in case we have any issues, we'll have a spare.